It's not hard to find videos on the Surface Book 2 about how capable of machine it is when it comes to editing 4K video or raw images in Photoshop. What is difficult to find, however, is if the Surface Book 2 can replace a desktop when it comes to the workflow of a 3D professional with things such as 3D rendering and compositing. And since I couldn't find a video on it in order to help me with my purchase decision, I decided to make one to help you with yours. The version of the Surface Book that I'll be using is the 15-inch version with the 8th gen CPU and GTX 1060 dedicated graphics. I'll be testing it against my old mobile workstation solution, which was an ASUS ROG gaming machine. It had a 4th generation CPU with a GTX 770. And even though it was huge and heavy, it certainly had the power to get the job done. And then we have the Surface Book 2, which is smaller in every dimension and weighs nearly a third as much in laptop mode, and can get significantly smaller and lighter when the screen is detached into tablet mode. So the real question is, can something this small really be as powerful as a giant machine that was built specifically for power? Let's find out. The first test I ran was in Lightwave 3D, rendering a 3D scene with global illumination. Both devices were running on battery with neither plugged in, and the end result was the ASUS machine running around 40 seconds with the Surface Book 2 running at 24.2 seconds. The ASUS typically runs faster and at full power when plugged in, so I decided to leave the Surface Book 2 unplugged and plug in the ASUS and run the same test again on the same scene. The result was 25.6 seconds versus 24 seconds, so a lot closer with the ASUS machine plugged in, but again, not very mobile. Third test is detaching the performance base and running the Surface Book in tablet mode. I don't expect a huge difference since Lightwave does not use the GPU, which is in the performance base of the Surface Book 2. It only uses the CPU, which is located in the tablet. And, as I suspected, about the same. Next up, working with a composite in After Effects. The ASUS is plugged in, the Surface Book 2 is not. End result, the Surface Book pulls 11 seconds on the render, and the ASUS isn't quite finished yet. It is 27 seconds, so significantly faster on the Surface Book. Next, we're going to run the Surface Book in tablet mode without the performance base, and the ASUS not plugged in, rendering the same exact scene. Looks like the Surface Book is finished, and it's at 8 seconds with the ASUS almost finished. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> and it pulls 27 seconds, so wow, that was unexpected, but what a pleasant surprise. My final thoughts, even with the ASUS plugged in and running in high performance mode, it simply couldn't keep up with the Surface running on battery. That's truly impressive. So if you do a little bit more than just video editing in Premiere and you use 3D programs such as Lightwave and compositing programs such as After Effects and we're wondering, would the Surface Book 2 be a good mobile workstation for you? I would say the answer is yes. I'm the old things tech nerd. See you next time.